What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's the food adventurer Magic Mitch and in this video I'm testing my might as I battle the 5 pound Escalade burrito challenge at Cadillac Cantina in Hoboken, New Jersey. Now before diving right in, I just want to say be sure to stick around until the very end of the video for some ridiculous antics by yours truly. As mentioned before, this is the Escalade burrito challenge, the second food challenge during my east coast and Canada tour. Now for this one, I had 25 minutes to take down this 5 pound burrito, which is packed with meats including smoked brisket, pulled pork, and bacon, then there's some cheese, peppers, rice and beans, and then it is also topped with onion strings and avocado slices. Along with the burrito are sides of even more rice and beans, as well as some sour cream. And just to make things a little more interesting, this burrito is also smothered in their spicy habanero sauce. And if I was successful in slaying this 5 pound Escalade burrito challenge within the 25 minutes, I would receive my meal for free, which costs about $25, and I would also receive a free shirt and my picture up on their wall of fame. I'm not sure if this was the actual record for the burrito challenge, but my intentions were to see if I could beat the 9 minutes and 14 second time set by fellow food fighter Randy Santel. The strategy I used for this food challenge was to first cut into the burrito using my mighty big spoon and eat a majority of the fillings inside the burrito, then eat the sides and toppings as needed to switch up the flavors while finishing up any tortilla that was left. But to be honest, I don't think I used the best strategy for this burrito challenge because even though it was a wet burrito with all the toppings covering it, I think had I cut into the burrito into two separate halves, brushed off the toppings sitting on top, I could have picked up each half without making much of a mess and spent less time overall eating the burrito. And also, during this challenge, the habanero sauce did pack a bigger punch than I had originally anticipated, which I thought wouldn't be too noticeable since I was eating it with so many other items, and this was a miscalculation on my part, and because of it, I ended up spending additional time recovering from the burn. Alright, so as far as my thoughts go on this burrito challenge, when it comes to the structure, I'm going to give it a 4 to 5, because first off, I do think it stands out more with the inclusion of the onion straws, avocado slices, and especially the habanero sauce, which does add a bit more of a twist to this challenge. I also think the 25 minute time limit is a decent amount of time for a burrito of this size, even with the spice, because less time will be spent chewing, and completing this challenge relies more on whether you have the stomach space. And of course, it has that gold standard for completing the challenge, which is the free meal, shirt, and your picture up on the wall of fame, which is always great to see. For the taste, I'm going with a 4 out of 5, because overall, it is a great tasting burrito. There wasn't a single combination of flavors I didn't find appetizing, and I really enjoyed the onion straws and the avocado slices with this challenge. And even though the habanero sauce had a bit of a kick for me, it didn't take away from the overall experience. In fact, I think it actually added to it because it made the challenge more memorable. Now that you're watching over here, do you think he's gonna finish? Oh hell yeah! So those are my thoughts on the 5 pound Escalade Burrito Challenge at Cadillac Cantina in Hoboken, New Jersey. And I just want to say, if you're enjoying your time watching this video, I'd appreciate it if you took a few seconds out of your day to leave a little magic of your own by liking and sharing this video. And if this is your first time watching and you'd like to see more food challenge videos like this one, be sure to click that subscribe button. Until my next food adventure, this is Magic Mitch. Thanks for watching and have a great day.